Russia-Ukraine war. Moscow says fight in Ukraine entering new phase. Ukrainian authorities are scrambling to evacuate the remaining civilians from the eastern Donetsk and Luhansk regions as Russia begins new military offensive. Wow. This became such a big deal that the United States, Japan, EU, and NATO affirm swift aid to Ukraine as assault in the east starts. Now, I'm only saying NATO because Jen Stoltenberg was also in the meeting. Leaders from the United States, Japan, and the European Union agreed Tuesday to continue to providing swift support to Ukraine as Russia begins a renewed military offensive in the eastern part of its neighboring country, the Japanese foreign ministry said. The Japanese will also increase the amount of its loan to be ascended to Kyiv from 100 million to 300 million, saying that Ukraine's economy is an urgent task. Now, as of 420 Indian time, the United States is preparing to announce another military aid package for Ukraine. The United States is expected to announce it will provide a new military aid package to Ukraine this week for ongoing war between Moscow and Kyiv. This new package will also be similar in size to the latest one worth $800 million. You want to know what's crazy? Russia just threatened to attack NATO convoys carrying weapons to Ukraine on April 14th, saying they would consider convoys transporting weapons from NATO countries to Ukraine as legitimate targets. Right after they made that statement, they shot down a Ukraine military plane carrying Western weapons. Russian Air Force units say they have shot down a Ukrainian military plane carrying shipment of weapons sent by Western countries. Now, they also said that this attack took place outside the city of Odessa. Now, this move was most likely a warning to NATO. As also on the 14th, Russia told NATO they were playing with fire in Odessa because they were opening secret bases near Odessa for monitoring the ships of the Russian Black Sea Fleet. I'm definitely starting to feel like there's more to the story. And on top of that, Slovakia mules delivery of MiG 29s to Ukraine. Slovakia is currently also considering donating its entire fleet of MiG 29 fighter aircraft to Ukraine, a move that would finally give heed to President Zelensky's long-standing request for additional fighter aircraft. This will also heighten our chances of a full-scale conflict with Russia. If they're not already at war with us, as RT tells Russian State News, they are waging war against NATO, not Ukraine. Also, what happens when Russia start taking Western weapons, kind of like the Taliban did in Afghanistan? Well, they put them on display and show them off to the world. There goes your tax money.